It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Tuesday, the 28th of March. I'm James Spann. After a wild day of strong to severe storms, things will be much calmer today and tomorrow. A chance of more strong storms later this week, late Thursday and Thursday night. What about the weekend ahead? Oh, it's springtime. A lot of things are happening here, so let's dive in and check it out. The upper trough that brought the severe storms yesterday and last night, moving on to the east, we kind of got a decaying band of showers and storms early this morning from near Birmingham over to Anniston and Ashland and Wadawi. That was the radar at 450. Those showers will continue sagging to the south and gradually dissipated. Much of the day today will be dry with only isolated showers. Mostly 60s on the map early this morning. Birmingham at 63 will be up in the mid to upper 70s today. These are the severe weather reports yesterday and last night across the southeastern states. 154 reports of hail and a bunch of them in Alabama. Uh, only one tornado report that was in western Tennessee. But this morning, things are quiet. There's the watch warning map as the day begins. But later today, more storms firing up to the west have an enhanced risk of severe weather for parts of Texas and Oklahoma. The uh, broad risk runs from the Rio Grande up into extreme southern Kansas. The higher tornado probabilities today are out around Childress, Wichita Falls, Texas, uh, where they could uh, see some active storms later. Now, tomorrow, the risk extends on to the east. Uh, places in the enhanced risk would include Little Rock, Shreveport, almost down to Houston. The uh, risk itself runs from near Corpus Christi up to St. Louis. And on day three, a risk of severe weather from the Gulf Coast up into southern parts of Illinois and Indiana. In our state, keep in mind, this outlook runs uh, Thursday afternoon, Thursday night, all the way to 7 a.m. Friday. We've got the standard risk, the uh, slight risk for most of the state, a marginal risk for east and southeast Alabama. And an enhanced risk north and west of here, including Memphis and the Mississippi Delta. And we'll talk about this as we go. And then on day four, which is Friday, a risk of severe storms for East Alabama and then points east over into Georgia and parts of the Carolinas. This is the rain for the next seven days. And again, we'll take that rain. This is good. Rain amounts uh, could exceed two inches statewide easily between now and Tuesday morning of next week. Maybe heavier totals down in southwest Alabama, down around Mobile. So, model fans, here we go. The GFS, this is the 06C run today at 1 o'clock local time. New trough in the southwest as the wave train continues. Down below that, we're still in kind of a moist, soupy air mass, but there's no real trigger for rain today. Here's the high-res her at 1 o'clock, showing nothing more than isolated showers, generally along and south of Interstate 20. And at 5 o'clock, maybe a few specks of rain on radar. So we'll mention just a few isolated showers about today, but nothing too widespread. Much of the day will be dry. A lot of clouds around. The high should be in the mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow, you can see the action off to the west, a surface low near Oklahoma City. Severe storms possible along and east of the dry line. But for us, the day looks uh, warm and dry. Highs of 81 to 84 in most spots. The sky partly sunny. Chance of a shower very small. Thursday, that surface low continues moving northeast. And again, severe storms are possible south and east of that. It looks like during the morning, the main action stays west of here. This is Thursday night, just after midnight, 1 a.m. Friday. Got a broad surface low to the north. This is suggesting there might be some convection near the Gulf Coast that kind of cuts off the inflow, and we wouldn't have much of anything here if this were to verify. And then Friday at midday, a new surface low forms over East Alabama, and that looks wet and unsettled on uh, Friday with maybe the better chance of any severe weather east of here. So if you take this run of the GFS – on face value, the severe weather possibilities for north-central Alabama don't look that overwhelming. We'll check the uh, NAM at 1 a.m. Friday, late Thursday night. And it's got a deep surface low near St. Louis. It's a little deeper than the uh, GFS. And again, the instability values are just not that impressive. There's not much instability at all 
And again, it seems to suggest there could be some storms near the Gulf Coast that would cut off the inflow up in here, reduce the severe weather threat. The, uh, the shear values are fairly high, but again, there's just no instability. So the energy helicity index basically is nil. And a forecast sounding for 1 a.m. Friday, showing no real chance of severe weather. So for the moment, it doesn't look like a, maybe a big problem. But understand, we're still a couple of days out, and this could easily change. This is late March in Alabama. You have to watch these. But we'll certainly mention a good chance of showers and storms late Thursday, Thursday night, into at least part of the day Friday. The good news, the weekend looks nice. Beautiful weekend coming up. Saturday, sunny. Mid-70s, Sunday, sunny with mid-70s. Go to Monday, wave train continues. Next system you see off to the west, and this is a week from today, Tuesday, April 4th. That doesn't look good. Uh, pretty deep upper load near Memphis. If this is right, a surface low is underneath that thing, under 1,000 millibars. That would be another severe weather setup. But again, this is a week out. This could easily change. But I, I will say this, April 4th, has a history of producing wild weather, whether it's snow or flooding or tornadoes here. This is the end of the forecast period, Thursday of next week, the 6th. Yeah, you got it. Another wave to the west and maybe stormy just after that. Check the numbers coming off the European. Pretty close to average for late March and early April. Still no sign of our famous late season cold snap we typically get in April, but you got to think it's coming. It does every year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.